Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to another list video. Now, I know you guys really do enjoy my top 5 skin series, and generally enjoy most list videos that I put on this channel, and this is kind of related to both my top 5 skins and my Australians that should exist. Today, I'm going to be going over what I believe are the top 5 nicest, good-looking reskins in Team Fortress 2. I'm going to be including weapons that have been reskinned off of existing weapons, so there won't be any sort of items like the Prinny Knife for example that has been added uh, and isn't a direct reskin of another weapon. So without further ado, let's get straight into what I believe is the 5th nicest reskin in Team Fortress 2. So guys, coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the Orpa Hand for the Sniper. The Orpa Hand is of course a direct reskin of the default sniper rifle, and is of course modelled after the Orp in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I personally really like the way it looks, I think it's a really really cool looking gun, and I personally do use it, I think it's a really nice reskin, and it's just even got the same gun sound as the AWP from Counter Strike, so really nice addition to the game, and definitely deserves its spot in this list. Next up on the list, and a slightly more expensive addition to this, we have the Big Kill. The Big Kill is about 6 keys in value, however it's a reskin of the Spy's default revolver. It's a really basic skin and actually has the same gun sound as the stock revolver, however it it, it just looks so much better, it looks so much sort of more damaging than the revolver, it's a lot bigger and the colours just do look a lot nicer and generally just looks a lot higher quality. Next up on the list we have a reskin that's actually for a multi-class item and slightly cheaper than the big kill that was previously mentioned. We of course have the Kappa. The Kappa is a direct reskin of the pistol for the engineer and the scout and has a much more futuristic design. As opposed to shooting out normal shells and bullets it shoots out these cool little laser beams and it generally has a really cool gun sound. The colours vary dependent on which team you are so it will be orange if you're on the red team and a very light shade of blue if you're on the blue team. Again, I do personally own one and think it looks great in game. The gun sound they added to it is a really nice twist to the default pistol sound and that just really does finish it off so it definitely deserves its spot on this list. Coming in at the number 2 and the runner up spot to what I believe is the nicest reskin in Team Fortress 2, we have the Bat Saber. The Bat Saber is of course a reskin of the Scout's Bat which is its default melee weapon. It's actually modelled after the lightsaber from the iconic Star Wars films and just looks really cool. Every time you swing the bat you get the cool sort of lightsaber swinging sound effect and it does just look really nice in game. Again, its colour depends on the team you are, however the only downside to this skin is its price. It's slightly more pricey than the other skins listed in this and comes in at around 10 keys. And finally, coming in at the number one spot on this list, what I believe is the nicest free skin in Team Fortress 2 is a skin that generally is really overlooked by a lot of people and I think doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. This is of course the reskin of the default knife, the Sharp Dresser. The Sharp Dresser is modelled after the hidden blade in the Assassin's Creed series and is used by the spy. Upon usage, the weapon faces the screen, leaving the spy's arm turned over. This is of course because the blade is meant to be hidden under the sleeve of the spy's jacket and is meant to represent the stealth aspect of the class. I personally think this is such a cool design and such a cool weapon in general, although it just does have the same aspect as the default knife, I just think it does look really cool. The only thing that could be improved about the skin is if it was available in Strange, but that's unlikely to ever happen unless Valve do decide to make it into a Strange. Speaking of that, I'm actually planning on doing a weapons that should be Strange video, and it is more than likely that the Sharp Dresser should be included because it's such an awesome reskin and just looks so great when equipped. The animations are also really cool if you are backstabbing or just swinging it around. So that's just about it for my top 5 reskins guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below and if you changed anything on this list and that's just about it. Thanks again for watching guys, please do leave a like if you enjoyed and sub if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content. Thanks again for watching guys and peace.